Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This your girl, CG Hip Hop, bringing y'all an album review. And today we're going to talk about Big Sean's album, Dark Sky Paradise. Um, For one, I, I really want to say this. I've been a Big Sean fan since 2007, I think. Since like my sophomore year of college. And I want to tell y'all the story. I've told it before. One time we had like a, a, a actual, I think it was uh, during homecoming one year, my sophomore year, and they had this skinny dude come up there and short as hell with some tight ass jeans on and a tank top, and I was looking at this nigga like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> didn't even hear none of this shit, didn't even bother to listen, and came back to the dorms and whatnot, and my boy Eric was in there. My boy Eric was, a, uh, was an art major as well. Like I'm, a, I'm a studio art major. I was a studio art major. I have a studio art degree. So, from the illustrious Benedict College, which a Barack Obama is speaking at my college today. Crazy, I know, right? But anyways, um, he actually was playing some music while he was, you know what I'm saying, doing some artwork for his uh, gallery show because he was graduating that year. And he played some Big Sean. And he was, like, bumping it heavy. And I was like, yo, who is this dude? So he was like, yo, this dude, Big Sean, this is the dude that was performing the other day. I know him. He's from Detroit and such and such because Eric is from Detroit. So he was like, yo, I was like, yo, make me some of them mixtapes and let me listen to him. You know what I'm saying? I think it was the You No know Big Sean, and it was another one. He had two out the, with the Finally Famous shit. That was before he came out with Finally Famous 3. That was when he had the two mixtapes out. And I was like, yo, let me listen to this dude. And I've been a fan ever since. Um, And also, I must say, this is his best work since Detroit. This might be up there with, it's, this is up there with Detroit and Finally, uh, Finally Famous Volume 3. Um, This is his best album to date. And also, I feel I felt bad when he came out with Hall of Fame because I tried to make myself like it because I'm such a huge fan. But Hall of Fame was a disappointment. I really don't know what he was going with that. But Hall of Fame just wasn't Big Sean. So with that being said, we're going to talk about the if standard version and deluxe version. We're going to go over all the songs, which ones I liked and which ones I didn't like. So we got Dark Sky, Skyscrapers. Blessings featuring Drake, All Your Fault featuring Kanye West, I Don't Fuck With You featuring E-40, Play No Games featuring Chris Brown and Ty Dolla Sign, Paradise, the extended version, When Some Lose Some, Stay Down, um, When Some Lose Some was featuring Janae Aiko, um, I Know featuring Janae Aiko, Deep featuring Lil Wayne, One Man Can Change the World featuring Kanye West and John Legend, then there's the outro, but that's the standard version. Then the, the deluxe version has Deserve It with Party Next Door, Research with Ariana Grande, and 15 Platinum Award. So out of all those songs, on the standard version, there's only one song I don't like. So that's Stay Down. So off top, that's a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, And the deluxe version, there's two songs I don't like. I didn't like Deserve It. I didn't like Research. But I did like Platinum Award. Uh, Research has Ariana Grande, which is his girlfriend on there. Um, the only song on the de deluxe version I like was Platinum and Wood. So if I say it's three songs I didn't like out of fitting, so that's like, what, 12? 12 out of 15 songs? And that would probably be like an 8 out of 10. But 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, I think that's a good score for both versions. Um, songs I liked. Dark Sky Paradise, Sky, I mean, Dark Sky Skyscrapers was fucking dope. All Your Fault, hands down, the best song on there. Kanye West fucking rapping. I'm like, yo, Kanye killing it. Um, Play No Games, that's a, uh, that was a slick ass little sample from, um, Guy. Um, I think it's called Pieces of Me. That's the name of the actual song back in the 80s, early 90s. Um, and I think Teddy Riley actually had a little, uh, I think Teddy Riley and, um, Key Wayne produced that track. Um, Paradise, that's Key Wayne all day. Second best song on here, um, Paradise was just fucking, yo, that fucking Super Saiyan line. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, you already know what it is. This nigga say, <laughs> uh, oh, how did that shit go? He, ah, oh, I forgot how that shit went, man. But he was like, he was going Super Saiyan in the booth. He was like, I'm in, just stuck in the booth and with Super Saiyan. I was like, God damn, Sean. Okay. 
Um, win some, lose some, a very dope concept. Um, deep, Lil Wayne fucking killed that verse. Um, and one man can change the world actually get, gave me a little tear, cause that, that had actually, that was a meaningful ass song. I would have not, I, ne- I would have never thought Sean to do something like that. He was talking about his grandmother and had his grandmother at the end of the song talking, and that was very special. Only problem is, I wish he would have had John Legend to do the verses, I mean, do the, the hook all the way through, and then have Kanye do like something else for the song. Um, and Platinum and Wood, I like that song too. Um, that was talking about him and his crew back in Detroit. And I think Key Wayne produced that too. So eight out of eight out of ten for the, the deluxe version, and nine out of ten for the whole album. This is Big Sean's best album in my opinion. This is his best album. Only one song on here I do not like, and that's Stay Down. Everything else on here is dope. I fucks with it. Favorite songs gotta be All Your Fault. Play no games. One man can change the world, and probably uh 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 paradise extended version. Those are like my top joints, but all your fart hands down, best song on here. But anyways, like I said, eight out of ten for the deluxe version, standard version nine out of ten. So I feel like nine out not nine out of ten. That's a great score for one song I did not like. Production's on point. All, uh, and also Travis Scott is on All Your Fault as well. Um, but anyways, this is Big Sean, Dark Sky Paradise review. I love the album. Sean, keep doing your thing. If you keep doing this and keep bossing up like you said on Hot 97 uh, Breakfast Club interview, 2015, it's time to boss up. And he definitely showed that he's here to stay with this review. I mean, with this uh, album. And he's growing. And I'm 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 really really excited to see where Sean goes from here because when he went down with Hall of Fame he went straight up with this joint. Um, but yeah, this your girl CG Hip Hop. Let me know what y'all thought of the Big Sean Dark Sky Paradise album. Nine out of ten standard version. Eight out of ten deluxe version. And I'm gonna holler at y'all. Deuces.